Stop filming me. <clears throat> How's it going, guys? Not good, I bet, I bet, yeah. Mike Tyson, lost. We all know it was rigged. We'll get past that point because we don't want any hate on this channel, except a little bit. I know we're looking at two gas tanks right now. One gas tank that came out of this van, 62 Econoline. If you haven't seen any content on it, go back to my thing and just start gang over over, because I am. Don't put a black light in there if you know what I mean. You know what I mean. We pulled the old gas tank out because here's the issue, okay guys? It was leaking. I put a new sending unit with no real um, high regard as to this lip as it has been compromised. It's been hit pretty hard, not by me. Uh, but I put a new sending unit in and it just will not seal correctly because the lip's bent. And to be honest with you, every time I put gas in it, even though I cleaned it out, it's just not doing it for me. The executive decision to buy a new one. But you're like, Dale, what the fuck is that? Yeah, I know, there is not another one on there, because this is out of a 66 Mustang, brand new, of course. Um, I've been reading up on some forums, and it is common for people to take the tanks out of these and just take out the vent tube. Boom, plaster it over here, cover up this hole, cut it, bang, put this over here. Because, if you don't notice, these are exactly the same size except for depth. These have an extra three gallons of gas. This is a 13 gallon, this is a 16 gallon, and we have the 351 Windsor in this, and we are gonna need all of that gas. We are gonna fab up this gas tank. I have now taken this piece off the top of it, cut it off, cleaned it up, measured it out. Good, um, fits right up on there. And then I'm gonna now weld it. So we got that all good. Uh, don't mind the other little tacks. I was doing really good, and then I hit a couple holes that, uh, you know, well, well, we won't talk about. It. We got the hole drilled. I did the best I could because this tank does, is a little bit wider on the bottom, and it actually has a press in from it. But I did my best to line it up, and it's about the same from the top. Can't really do too much about the bottom, but it's very close to the bottom. So we're gonna try to. Finagle because I kind of messed this piece up a little bit. I was cutting it out, kind of peeled that part out. So now I got a big gap I have to work around. But uh, we'll see what happens. To the ring, to the you know that shit ass song from KSI. Got that on there, got the patch on there, and finally got the tube on there. Don't look pretty, but it'll work. You're not going to see it, it's going to be under the van. I'm going to put some sealant around everything, just some like that um, gas tank exhaust kind of like, you know, kind of putty shit. Let that shit dry before I put it up in there just for an insurance because I don't feel like dropping the tank for a third time. So uh, that's going to do it for now. I'll do a video on me putting it in the van here soon. But right now I'm going to go in. Look at this beautiful sunset. Just like you, you guys. You guys are so beautiful. Stop, Dale. Stop. Keep safe. Build those project cars. Fight those rigged fights, um, and don't stress about the little shit too much, because in, in the end, it don't really matter. So, have a good one.